Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to uh, Minecraft Maker. Yeah, this looks like the Minecraft LAN party server. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, it is not. Um, this is a downloaded copy so that I can do some testing. You know, I think those creepy sounds are come when one of the uh, turtles is laying or nesting on eggs. I believe there are some eggs down there. I haven't uh, confirmed that yet, but anyway, so village. Uh, one of the things in 114, 1.14 is, and they released a snapshot this week, completely rearranges the way villagers work. And I'm, I'm a little concerned. Where's the slime? Slime up here. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That was gonna sounds gonna drive me nuts. So they released a snapshot for 1.14, 1.14. This week, and they completely rearranged the way villagers work. Um, no. So, what I wanted to do was uh, test a few things. So, I've got here villagers, and this is the old trading system. Soon to be old trading system. So, you come here and you trade things for emeralds and so on, and the, the pricing depends somewhat on a uh, random chance. So now villagers um, when they are when they are generated uh, and it's not clear if that means breeding or game generation it's not clear at all uh, because breeding is uh, broken in the snapshot um, and farming is broken. There's there's a few things like that and the villagers look completely different and they have new outfits based on their profession um, And so and then when you trade with them it's Supposedly there's like a supply and demand sort of thing going on and they might run out of trade So they may decide to stop trading with you if you trade too much of any one thing. It's not clear It's very confusing. So here's what I want to do um, I want to find out will my existing villagers here still be the same Will this guy have a lure 3 book for 12 emeralds when I update the server lure 3 for 12 emeralds uh, when I update the server and will this cleric have a bottle of enchanting for 3 emeralds um, these I basically collected all these villagers and I've got 50 villagers here 30 40 50 villagers and they all have sort of the best trades that I've been able to get for their particular trades and I don't think there's nobody up here nope nobody up here and I've got 30 more cells over here, so I've got 40 more spaces to hold villagers. Um, now, one thing is in 1.14, they don't calculate villages in the same way. In fact, villagers don't need to have villages, apparently. And so all these doors become unnecessary. This design here works because the way Minecraft up to 1.13 and before uh, as long as there have been villagers in the game as long the way it calculates the location and size of a village is it counts doors that have more sky access on one side than on the other and that counts as a house and then if there's a villager near one of those houses near enough so this guy here is here specifically to keep all these doors active 
So by having these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 doors, 14 times 4, because I've got two rows over here, the, and then some percentage of the number of doors is how many villagers the village can support. And, I, and with this many doors, this village can support up to 19 villagers. And I didn't want to go to 20 because when you get to 20, you get these zombie raids and it's bad news because zombies can just spawn in a place where otherwise they wouldn't be able to either because of lighting or blocks or whatever. So here's what I want to do. I have this as a copy of the world. I'm running on my local machine. I'm going to quit the game. I'm going to download the latest 1.14 snapshot and I'm going to come into this world and upgrade it to 1.14 to see what happens to all these villagers over here and what happens to all these villagers in here and then see what I may need to do in order to have the villagers be happy in here and be able to breed even though breeding is, is broken. So uh, anyway, so that's that's what I'm gonna do. Um, shouldn't take too long, but we'll play around a little bit. So let me go ahead and quit and update and then we will be right back. Minecraft, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Okay, so this is the 19W11B snapshot. This is one of the 11.14 village and pillage snapshots. And you see in the background here, there's one of the new villages with the new villagers. So let's go in here. Don't forget to back up this world. Yeah, okay. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I can always recreate that. Oh, wow. Graphical representation of converting the world. 100%. Joining world. Oh, look at him. He's got an eye patch. Okay, that's kind of exciting, but that's also, oh, they've all converted, which means these guys have probably all converted. Oh, yes. Librarian, lure of three for 12. Lure three for 12. That interface looks surprisingly familiar. Huh. Okay. So this guy here, hi, Cleric. Oh, so this is the new interface, so Cleric Novice. So I have to trade with him in order to unlock the other trades. So right now he's got these two. Rod and Flesh for 40, which I was under the impression the Rod and Flesh was always the same for these guys. You've got a cute little hat. You're a Fletcher. Oh, you're Mr. Fletcher. You're my, you're my Fletcher dude. Okay, so I don't know if I've really upgraded any of these folks. Oh, look, he's got the he's got the breeding hearts. Butcher, Toolsmith. These guys are the same. Butcher, Butcher. Okay, Cleric, Weaponsmith, Leather Worker. So a lot of guys that I don't really need or want. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, you got a, you got a collar. Oh, you're the cleric. Okay. Okay. So, my understanding is that these guys now they have a little routine, a daily routine. So it's nighttime right now, so they're probably wanting to go to bed. I don't have any beds for them. Um. Oh, door chain. Door sounds have changed a bit. Butcher. So I don't know how to get more of these guys. So there's, I don't think there's enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so this village in the old scheme could support more villagers than we have here. And I don't think Mr. Fletcher here, who is a brown coat. Uh, hi. Uh, is a brown coat and in theory could be farming. I don't think he's going to. So I don't know if we'll be able to breed any additional villagers. But if if I were to get a spawn egg, a villager spawn egg, and spawn them, 
they would come in and they would be like an unemployed villager. I'm not sure if that's the right name, but they don't have a profession. And then there's different blocks in the game that are points of interest, uh, like the compost bin and the uh, the stone cutter and, and so on. And when one of the villagers sort of sees a point of interest, he will go to that point of interest. I like your eye patch, dude. Yeah, you're pretty cool. That's I like that. Um, they will go to the to the point of interest and they will uh, sort of work during the daytime. And then in the evening when the sun's about to go down, are they going to breed? No, see, I, they've got the they've got the love particles, but they're not actually breeding. I think that's a bug. Um, clearly, this isn't fully implemented yet. Oh, hello. What are you? You're a butcher. Okay. Um, so they go and and when they if they say, "Oh, look, a compost bin," and they go to that as their point of interest, and they start working there, then they become a farmer. And then, at in the evening, they will all gather around the bell. If there's a bell in the in the in the village, they will go gather around the bell, and then they can trade gossip. And one of the things that they can gossip about is, did I get punched by a player? Or do we need a golem? Because if there's enough, if there's enough villagers and there's not a golem, then some of these uh, pillagers, bad guys, can sort of spawn and, and walk up and try to wreck the village. So that's... Uh, that's what we're looking at here. So, I think my villagers are relatively safe. So, if I... I got lots of library. Cartographer. Oh, he's got a little eye thing. Okay. So, the cartographer ocean monument explorer map for 15. Okay. Farmer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, librarian cleric. Cleric is dead. Cleric will not trade with me for anything. Librarian, librarian. Cleric. Flush for 36. 36. Okay. I'm going to grab some stuff and trade with them a little bit. But I'm... I'm reasonably happy now that... that I'm not going to lose all my villagers... Uh, so the question just remains, how will I be able to acquire more? Because there are new enchants that I will want to get villagers with trades with. And yeah, and so I'm going to want to see also if this whole uh, demand, supply and demand thing is going to be an issue or not. So... Oh, look, his cloak. He's got a little creeper face on his cloak. That's a little disconcerting. Anyway. Anyway, I don't... I don't think I'm going to... Grab some... Rotten flesh here, and I can grab... I can grab a few things. But I don't need to... Do a ton of trading. And I could just go into creative and get... All of the stuff I need so let's uh let's let's do some trading here librarian ah oh. let's do this hi you want 27 for paper uh-huh Okay, he locked up. Now, I got eight trades out of him, which should almost, in the old version, basically guarantee me that he would sort of level up and unlock. See if that happens. Did not. So let's see what can I buy from him for, like, one... I can get some glass. So let's, uh, let's buy five glass. Or 15 glass. Uh 
Okay, let's buy some more glass. Huh. Okay. Oh, look, and he shows me, like, oh, I want what you're holding for emeralds. I guess you can right-click on them to, to come into this interface without the... without coming into this interface. Now, his paper trade is locked out. Buy more glass from this guy. Oh, he locked out immediately. I didn't even get any. Huh. So I can buy bookshelves. Okay, I'm a, I'm a little worried here that this is uh, going to be a problem. Um, if these guys will only trade so many times. This is uh, this is going to be a problem. And I think with the with the gossip system, they one of the things of gossip about is player reputation, which is part of the whole. Oh, I got punched. Huh? Yeah. See. Yeah, this whole supply and demand thing doesn't necessarily cut it be from an explanation for why this might happen. Because honestly, if I'm walking around and I've got a ton of paper and there are a bunch of villagers around who are all willing to pay um, emeralds for money, uh, emeralds for paper, um, they should be competing and lowering their prices in order to... Uh, in order to try and get my business. And it's not really appear to be happening here. And of course, this could be a situation where there's a bug and the trading is not working the way it's supposed to yet. But I can't imagine they really want to nerf the whole trading system. That just seems like a bad idea. But maybe that is what they want to do. Maybe they want to just ruin this aspect of the game. It's possible. Okay, well... I'm going to play around with this a little bit more um, and try not to get too concerned because we're still in snapshots and this is really, this is the second snapshot of the week and they uh, basically, the, it was the second snapshot because the, uh, the first one apparently had some issues. Uh, that they needed, they felt the need to correct, so. Oh. Okay. No, put all the diamonds in. Thank you. Okay, and I may also go into creative here and give myself 
effectively unlimited emeralds so I can trade out and see if I get this guy completely locked up that would really kind of suck but um, well, I can make a lectern now okay so this guy will take 18 emeralds and one book and give me a feather falling floor book Okay. This does not seem to be working correctly. So we will... We will reserve judgment until we get further information. But, yeah, this... Something seems wrong here. Um, we will see if that's the case. Anyway, that's all I really had time for right now. Um, on this St. Patrick's Day. Um, as I said, things are not working. That's fine. So we will we will have to check this on upcoming snapshots to see if they fix some of the problems. Um, oh, I can't even do commands because I don't have open to land. Loud cheats on. Start land world. Um, Let me grow all the crops. Make sure that they're not... And what sounded like the breaking of crops there was actually the... <laughs> um, the... Sugarcane farm behind me. Yeah. Huh. So yeah, from what I was seeing, these guys aren't farming, even... The brown coats. I don't have any farmers in here, but... But I have a couple guys who should be capable of farming, at least were before. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just... We'll see what's going on here. Why is this not working? Um, okay, that's an issue for another day. There we go. Um, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. This is Minecraft Maker from... A simulation of the Minecraft LAN party server. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.